Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. We're in the big modern tractor, and yes, it's red. I uh, painted it this morning. I figured uh, we switch up the color, and plus I had to give it some diesel fuel. But uh, yep, yeah, we're around here to grab our. Am I not lined up well enough here? What's the deal? There we go. Uh, we're grabbing our plow to head back over to those fields down on the other side. Those two fields that I thought I did ages ago. Uh, I forgot. I don't think I, yeah, I can get through here. Kind of. But we're going to go down there today and plow out those fields. You have a pretty loud voice to uh, be able for me to hear you with all the doors closed on my big modern tractor and the engine going. Just saying. Uh, I thought about painting a plow as well, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm kind of checking my fields for scarecrows because I kind of forgot to be doing that once in a while. But uh, I think last episode we, we built the scarecrow. I, I hate to say built the scarecrow because we just basically placed it down and it, and it goes. So, <laughs> yeah, so these two fields here. I think I tried hiring a worker here before and it just didn't work out too well for us. Uh, I am curious, does this feel... That's plowed and cultivated. Alright. Yeah, so I want to get these fields plowed today so we can cultivate them next time. And then fertilize them after that as well. So let's try to do a good job today. Try. Yeah, we're going to try. Um, can we back up just a little bit more, please? Thank you. And I thought about doing both fields in one go, but I think I'm just going to do one field in the other. Uh, this makes me feel better. That's why I'm starting off with a smaller one. Uh, we'll get it done. Get it done. I'll just, and now those feel like, yeah, I got one field done. Now I just got the other one to do. I mean, it's not going to take us too long to do these two fields today. Uh, maybe somewhere around noonish we should be done. Although I did spend a little time this morning trying to find the big modern tractor because I couldn't remember where I put it. Uh, the plow I found right off. But the big modern tractor, I was like, uh, what did I use that last for? Then it finally hit me. I'm like, oh, it's probably right in my parking lot. I mean, the obvious place to look for it. Let's go ahead and get a couple headlands done. So before I came on, I was on the discussion forum once again. Just, just checking things out. And um, yeah, no new news on the up, an update or anything like that. I would assume there'd be one coming sometime soon because it's been just a little bit over a month since we got the flowers and um, uh, what else did we get? Uh, I forgot now. Uh, but we got the flowers. Oh yeah, the uh, the greenhouses. <coughs> As I sneeze there. All right. All right. So there is one headland done. So yeah, I don't know, uh, I mean, I'm not seeing any sneak peeks or anything like that, or I'm not, I haven't really read anything that tells me like, well, the next patch is going to be this or it's going to be that. Um, probably mostly that I would be happy just with the patch that they fix the bugs with the workers. That'd probably be the best thing that they need to do right now. But then again, I'm not going to say no to added things. But we are starting to move on along through here in April. In a couple days, though, we're going to get rain. So that might be a day I just skip. Uh, it'd be nice as to see May pop up, I think. So I may actually skip a couple days. Let's get to May 1st. Just to finally get out of the month of April. Seems like I've been in April forever. But since we really don't skip days, uh, <laughs> it will take a while. Yeah, so I got a scarecrow here, I got a scarecrow over there. 
Yes, we're good on that front. There we go. The headlands are now done, so I can get the rows done pretty quickly. So you may be wondering why there has been no episodes on Fridays lately. And I'm just cutting back just a little bit with summer here. Um, I don't have as much time to redo some videos. And I thought taking a little bit more of a break from Farmer's Dynasty is what I kind of need to do. Just to keep it fresh in my mind. So just for now, just for now, Z's, uh, I'm cutting back to one episode per week. And in the future, probably pick it back up again. But I have been reading some good information on the discussion forums today, or what people have like for ideas for the game. And developers are saying, yeah, we're, well, okay, got, you know, they, they say it's a good idea, and, uh, you know, it's noted. Uh, so they're taking notice of some advice that players are giving them, but they're not really saying, and I can understand, they're not going to say, well, we're going to put this in the game, that into the game, because they did that before. Um, when the game first came out, say, you know, people give them ideas, and they say, oh, yeah, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw that into the game, we'll throw that in the game, and a lot of that stuff has yet to come through. I just wish we kind of had like that that road map was nice when they were used to do the road map and they kind of promised one back back in January I think it was either January or February they kind of promised a road map and um, yeah no road map but, I mean like the flowers and um, the extended greenhouses were kind of a surprise on the last patch I don't remember anyone saying anything like we could use some flowers And I probably should have checked on it on the flowers because, well, we'll know if the wife watered them because they should be extremely wet or really wet or whatever the heck it says. Right now I think they're just wet or semi-wet. But in a couple days if it rains, well, <laughs> not going to worry about the wife watering them now, will I? Just like that, we're we're just about done with one field. Of course, the other field's going to take a little bit longer. How big is this? This is not even a hectare, is it? No, not even a hectare. I think that one over there might be 1.9 or so. But in just about another month's time, yeah, another month, uh, <laughs> we should be able to harvest some fields. That's one thing, you know, I, you get used to playing Farming Simulator and uh, it's like every other day. You, you always have a lot of other stuff to do. Farmer's Dynasty is a different game in being that it, it does take time in between crops growing and such. But, I mean, they do give you the option to sleep a week at a time if you'd like to. I never do because I feel like I'm going to miss something for some unknown reason. At this point, what can I miss? I don't know, but uh, I just choose not to sleep a week at a time. But we might do some of that this season. I don't know, because like I said, I'm not sure if I want to plant crops this season or not. Obviously, I'm not in the rush to do three harvests this season because, well, a lot of these fields would, be, would have been reseeded by now. You kind of have to be that way if you want to do three harvests in a season. You need to turn them over quick. I really think though the scarecrows, after you harvest a field, the scarecrow should disappear. 
or it should have like a like a repair meter or I don't know something like that on it I mean he is made out of straw I really don't need to get this piece here but we'll get it all right let's head on over to the other field I want to say it's 1.91 hectares. Am I close? Probably not. Oh, it's only 1.65. I thought it was almost the same size as the field down below, which is like exactly 2 hectares. I don't know anymore. I can see where I hired a worker to plow the field before because... Well, I can just tell. <laughs> There's ways you can tell. I don't think I plowed the field that way. Maybe I plowed it. I don't remember. this field last time not me because uh, it seems like the further we get in the more circles they were doing and yeah I don't I don't do that I do like what we're doing right now <laughs> it's going up and down the field but we're almost done uh, I did actually have to turn on the front axle um, the top end of the field for some reason I, mean, I don't know maybe I'm hitting rocks or something but man it was uh, it was stopped on this tractor well, I wouldn't say stopping it, but I mean it was bogging it down pretty big. So I just flipped on the front axle and uh, away she went. Might be a big boulder down there somewhere. I don't know. Now I probably have maybe one or two more fields to plow down uh was it lakeside i think it's called lakeside which is down over that way i think there's small fields so it won't take us too long to do it but then again these fields hasn't haven't really taken me that long either but now we just need to cultivate these and of course start fertilizing them once our cows uh, produce a little bit more slurry, but I think I got enough slurry to do these fields here. And it's not just these two, I gotta do that one down there as well. But our cows, uh, yeah, they're not producing as much as we need. But in actuality, they're, they're producing more than what they probably should anyways, but 
we got too many fields for the cows to keep up. That's all right. We got fur X when we need it. But I'm trying to do it the logical way. Not I don't need to save money. So I mean, I could just buy fur X and fertilize all my fields with that that way. But logically, you would just use the cow slurry to fertilize it, and then just use regular fertilizer. But that's an interesting question. I kind of forgot how much of a price difference there is between Fur X and regular artificial fertilizer. I mean, it may not even be worth it to do the cows. I mean, if the, if the price is kind of close, then what's the point? All right, this field. We are done plowing. Check. Although it's probably a little bit of a strip up here, but I think we're at 100%. Yes, we are. Uh, no, I got it all, apparently. So I'll go up here and park it up on the hill. And, of course, with the plow and the big modern tractor, I always make sure... Oop, that's a big dip down there. Let's uh, just bring it over here. I'll put it down and disconnect it, just because... I don't want to log into the game and have my... Uh, back end sticking way up in the air with a plow up in the air. There. Much better. Much better. So what time? Yeah, just about noon. Uh, let's have a little bit of a, a snack. Uh, one can is good enough. We'll head on down here and see what the wife is up to. I don't think she's going to get to wa be watering the flowers before it rains in a couple days. Our beehives are flickering over there. There they go. What day is it actually? Oh, it's the 30th of April. So yeah, we're just about through this month. Uh, well, the eggs are gone again. Well, there's our wife. She's raking over here. Well, they're all... Now, I don't know if she waters them, if they'll go extremely... See, there's one that's semi-wet. So, maybe she did water them? I don't know. I don't know now. I would assume that if she watered them, why wouldn't she water them this one? I'll tell you what, let's take... Um... This rose one that's semi-wet. We'll grab our water bucket. We'll water that. Yeah, see, if you water it, it becomes very wet. So maybe she hasn't watered the plants yet. But, I mean, they're wet, so I don't think she would need to. Oh, Rex, you just went right through that wall. You're, you're a hero. But I don't think we're going to have any surprise here between our duck and goose eggs. I think it's going to be 38 and 40 still. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, yep, 38 and 40. There's our melons. So now we're just waiting for us to be able to pick apples. And eventually we get some melon pie. I'm not really sure if she's... I'm not keeping track of these numbers here. Um, we got the fish. Um, I, did, I do have tomatoes, zucchini... I don't have pumpkins, but who puts pumpkins in the pizza? I, never, I mean, maybe some people do. But yeah, I'm not really sure if she's making that stuff. Not that we need the food. Uh, we got tons and tons of food for us anyways. Um, have no interest in talking to the wife. Uh, any interesting jobs, even though I, you know, plow a field, spicy pumpkin soup, transport. Yeah, I was looking for a fix a building job, something that uh, we can kind of cheese our way through so down here in lakeside uh, plowed and cultivated plowed and cultivated uh, not plowed or cultivated but you're talking about a 1.19 hectare uh, that's plowed not cultivated not plowed and cultivated so we got two very small fields I need to come down here and plow we can we can rip through that no problem <laughs> pretty fast uh, but I'll tell you what, I do want to go down to the agricultural store uh, for our last little trip. I just want to see what the price difference is between Fert X and regular fertilizer. 
I mean, in the beginning stages, it may be a big difference to you price wise because obviously you know when the, you don't have the, the cash but when you, we start getting enough cash i mean is it worth it to i mean because basically what you got to do when you got to spread slurry down and then fertilizer basically you got to go over the field twice to get 200 percent fertilization down or you can just use for x and go over the field once and you get two stages um come on click on that there we go uh animals and fertilizers uh for x is 234 yeah so it is it is almost double so if you were were to buy a thousand liters uh how much wait how much can we buy five thousand or for x at five thousand so yeah you're saving uh, well don't forget these price uh, these prices probably do change a little bit but uh yeah that's that's six grand you're saving yourself on 5,000 kilograms. Uh, does it matter much to me at this point? Not really, but in the early stages, that <laughs> that's quite a bit of money right there. That's quite a bit of money. Uh, well, let's hop back to our home and our wife's tractor. I really kind of wish these beehives kind of had some bees around them. You can actually see them pollinating the, the trees, but uh, there are apples Hopefully in a couple weeks we can start picking some and our wife can make us some melon pie. Any apples on the ground? Nah. Of course not. Uh, wait, we do have a scare... Yeah, I was say, our scarecrow is still here. Yes, it is. All right. So our scarecrow's there. We got beehives there. Um, take a quick peek at the greenhouse. It's, it's, it's fine for another day. Uh, you know what? doesn't matter. Just in case I forget. Just in case I forget. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. A little bit of plowing. We got two more fields plowed. Uh, two more fields to go. And then the rest is cultivation and fertilization. And at some point, yeah, maybe we'll start seeding some of these things. But like I said, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on the Day on the Farm. But until then, have a good one.